Welcome to SARM's railway grade crossing information sharing videos. First off, we'd like to mention some safety items. We recommend you wear some personal protective equipment while you're taking these measurements, at minimum a high visibility vest. And while you're out on the road, uh, never turn your back to oncoming traffic unless you have a spotter that can uh, watch that traffic for you. We're now going to show you how to measure the crossing angle at your crossing, which is the angle between the roadway and the railway. You'll be doing this in three parts because you'll be measuring the three sides of a triangle, which can be any size, any length that you determine. As long as you measure one of the sides along the roadway center line and another of them along the railway center line, all the math will work out. So what we're starting with here, which you don't necessarily have to start with, is measuring from the roadway center line to the railway center line, and we'll designate this as measurement M as on your paperwork. So this measurement is about 5.72 meters, which means on your paperwork you'll put 5,720 millimeters for measurement M. We're now going to measure a second side of our triangle in order to determine the grade crossing angle. We left the one end of the tape back where we took our original measurement, so it is already on the roadway center line at the intersecting point, and we're now going to measure the roadway distance up to the railway center line. On your paperwork, this is designated as measurement R. crossing angle later, we're now going to finish off our triangle with the measurement along railway. This will be designated as measurement K on your paperwork. So this measurement is 9.82 meters, so when you put it onto your papers, it'll be 9,820 millimeters, and that'll finish off your grade crossing angle triangle. This will be measurement K, and you'll use that later to figure out the grade crossing angle at this crossing.